Hello, hello. I am so happy that you're here today, as always. Because today we're planning for the month of November in our bullet journals. My name is Carla. This is Orwick Katie. Welcome back to the channel. November for me is always a special month. First off, you know that I enjoy immensely Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays, you know, without a doubt during the year. But it's not only Halloween, because then after Halloween comes Dia de los Muertos. And it's like, you know, it's like a week, mainly three days, but it's almost like a week of celebrating all this wonderful folklore. And I just absolutely love it. It's like, I've always been fascinated by witches. I've always believed in ghosts and spirits. And there's just so much more than we can see here, I guess, on earth in this plane. I'm not gonna get into all that because I'm surely gonna get some stuff wrong because I'm just not super um, informed, I guess, around everything that's there in that culture. But I can honestly share with you that I've find it fascinated throughout the years. Even in Halloween, I think I told you that I never wanted to be like a princess or a fairy. I always wanted to be the witch, Morticia, like something that's really, I don't know, dark, I guess. So I think that in a way, it was a moment in which I could express another side of me that wasn't that, I don't know, <laughs> conventional, if, if I may. God knows uh, why, but I've always find it interesting and fascinated. And Dia de los Muertos is such, such an important event here in Mexico and in Latin America, which I, I, I've talked about in previous videos, because again, usually in November, sometimes in September, I do something related to Mexico, to my roots, because yes, I live here, I was born here, and I want to share with the world what we do and read and no feel here sometimes in Mexico. So regarding Mexican art, I have bullet journal monthly inspirations in of course Mexican art and tiles, Frida Kahlo, Aztec art, and last year I did Katrinas. So this year I was thinking what I could do that was a little bit different, but then I noticed like a pattern. And it's not only a pattern in my, I guess, art in the bullet journal, but also in Mexican art in, you know, in general. And it is flowers. So this is why this month I'll be doing a bullet journal theme inspired in Mexican flowers. Now, some of you might think, hey Carla, that's more of a spring kind of theme. And you might be right. At the end of the day, some countries are actually right now going through spring instead of autumn, like, you know, here on the Northern Hemisphere. But I'm gonna do it in a way, and you're gonna see those elements in which it's gonna be related to Mexican art and how flowers are present there in Mexican art and all the symbols and the characteristics that they have to make it flowers in Mexican art. So I really hope that you enjoy it. And if you do like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share with someone that you know will like this content, and of course, consider subscribing. And if there's even another way that you want to support me, remember that I have two stores, one in SD and one in Society6, which they both have displays of my artwork and you can purchase them for yourself. And I think that's it, so let's get started. Get your materials, your notebook, your markers, your watercolors. Let's see what we can do. And of course, if you're just here to, you know, have a good time, maybe watch what we're doing, just get something to drink, something to snack on, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Here, I'm showing you the materials I'll be using today. I decided to go simply with markers. Remember that the monthly calendar, it's here for you to download, completely free, just a gift from me to you. And I hope that you use it and enjoy it. You can see how I created this illustration with watercolors in my previous video. Now let's talk a little bit about Mexico and the relationship that it has with flowers 
in art and, you know, all around us. Flowers and flower arranging have played an important role in Mexico from ancient times to the present. The symbolic meaning of flowers is prominent through Asian Mesoamerican thought and practice. Flowers could represent anything from beauty and creation to death and destruction. Tlacaelel, a counselor to Moctezuma I, initiated a mystical warrior vision of the Aztec destiny called the Flowery Wars, in which prisoners were taken for the purpose of sacrifice. The flower theme runs through the many epithets of war, but in 1490, a group of Aztec wise men and poets gather at the home of Lord Takayehuatzin, Prince of Huatzatzinco, to discuss poetry, art, and symbolism. For these ancient poets, the essence of life was summed up in the phrase in Xochitl Inquicatl, meaning the flower, the song, a Nahuatl metaphor signifying the art of poetry, the one true thing on earth. The Aztecs cultivated and used flowers in many forms, including garnels, flower arrangements, paper flowers, and flower adornments of all kinds. Offerings of flowers were placed on the status of deities. Flowers were an important feature in many ceremonies. During the feast of Tlaxochimoco, distribution of flowers, the people exchanged flowers. Concubines of great nobles paraded about the streets wearing garnels of flowers. Lords sat surrounded by flowers, which they lovingly picked up one by one and then laid down again. The 16th century Dominican fair, Diego Duran, reports such was the Aztec passion for flowers. Nothing gave the people more happiness on this day than simply smelling any type of flower. Three Aztec deities were especially associated with beauty, pleasure, or art, hence with flowers. The Feast of Xochiquetzal, meaning flowery plumage, was called Farewell to the Flowers, because it took place at the end of the main growing season. In this festival, persons, temples, houses, streets, basically everywhere, were all adorned with flowers. Xochipilli, flower prince, the god of positive creative energies, was associated with flowers, dancing, and feasting. Overlapping this god was Makul Xochitl, meaning five flower, named after the specific date of the Mesoamerican calendar. The ancient Maya too were noted for their love of flowers. The decorative use of flower themes can be clearly seen on ceramics showing the headdresses and thrones of Maya rulers. The artistic representation of flowers and plants depicted on painted vessels reveal an acute observation of the forms and shades of nature. Much of the ancient symbolism and some of the actual practices of arranging and using flowers have continued to the present day here in Mexico. It is little wonder then that flower arranging is a natural art for Mexicans today. The abundance and variety of flowers to be found in this vast botanic garden of Mexico has fascinated plant lovers, gardeners, and the ordinary traveler to Mexico since the time of the conquest. Every important plant category is well represented south of the Rio Grande. Mexico has six to 800 different species of oaks in comparison with the 84 in the US and the 10 in Canada. With six to 800 kinds of wild orchids, more than half the world's cactus species, and more beautiful varieties of native bulbs than the Netherlands. Mexico, with about one-fourth of the land area of the U.S., has an equal number of plant species, estimated at 20,000. The glandulus, so essential for the line to the flower arranger, especially in short arrangements, is grown proficiously in Michoacán. Acres of bulbs are planted every 10 days. They dominate the San Juan market in Mexico City, the largest cut flower market in the world. 
In the mountains above Mexico City, carnations, calla lilies, sashta daisies, snapdragons, roses, baby's breath, one that is very often used in rose arrangements to give it extra life, blue lily of the Nile, and other non-Mexican arrangement favorites are grown for the city's market. However, the flower arranger does not have to travel to Mexico City for the finest flowers. They are imported to various markets in Guadalajara. Close to the city's famous Parque Azul, you will find flower artisans, young and old, at work. There you may purchase oasis and other flower arranging materials and jot down a few ideas for your next arrangement. But whether or not you are an avid flower arranger, at least be like those ancient flower lovers and take time to smell the flowers. This is an article by Ronald Barnett that I found in MexConnect. It's called Mexico Flowers and Flower Art. And I hope that if you have some time, you go and give it some love because this article is courtesy of the Chalapa Review, a monthly newspaper published in Jalisco. And what I decided to share with you today while I'm painting all these beautiful flowers in our bullet journals. I had lots of fun and I learned a lot about flowers in Mexico. You may notice that I changed a little bit the order of the layouts that I usually use and that's because of the composition that I created at the beginning just didn't go that well with my first couple of layouts which are memories and thankfulness. But you will see them all there regardless of the order. Thank you for joining me in this video. for joining me in this video i had a beautiful time flowers even though i'm not a pinky flower kind of girl they do bring life and they do bring joy to my life in many different ways although i don't have a green thumb i have to admit that so i have things like succulents and aloe which are just uh, friendlier to someone like me <laughs> uh, they don't need that much attention and I love how they look and I don't feel guilty because well let's be honest I don't kill them <laughs> but um, I hope you do have a greener thumb than me and that you also enjoy flowers and the theme that we created today which was Mexican flowers I really hope that you like this team's video which was inspired in Mexican flowers and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up share with someone that you know might like this video the content that i'm doing there's many things to look at i have materials i have 101 and bullet journal i have some artwork and of course i have monthly plans and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing because well it doesn't cost you a penny and it helps me reach more people that like art like you and me Thank you very much again. Have a wonderful month of November. I'll see you next month to plan something different. And if you have any suggestions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments because I'm always open to knowing what you like, what you're inspired by, and why not consider it for my next or some of the following themes that we're gonna have in our bullet journals. I'll see you in my next video. And in the meantime, keep creative, keep safe, and always, always be kind. Bye. Please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time!